We're going to learn all about volume in this video. This is Lesson 15C. I've got links to the previous videos for Lesson 15, A and B, and some other ones that are really helpful in this description. Volume is the measure of the amount of space inside a three-dimensional object. That's 3D. Two-dimensional, or 2D, is just length times width. Three dimensions is length times width times height. Volume is measured in cubic units, cubes, and each side of a cubic unit is one unit. doesn't matter whether it's inches, feet, centimeters, meters, whatever. Every side will have the same measure in a cubic unit. So this is one centimeter cubed because every side is a centimeter. And we would write it as cu and then in for cubic inches. We could also write it with an in for inches with a little three exponent. For cubic feet, we can write cu and then ft or ft with a little three exponent. Cubic centimeters can be cu and then cm or cm with a little three exponent. That exponent three tells us there are three measures, length, width, and height. We can find the volume of a square or rectangular box by multiplying the length times the width, then multiplying that product by the height. So here we've got this rectangular box, and it's 7 feet in length, it's 5 feet in width, and its height is 3. That's how many cubes are in there. We do the 7 times 5, which is 35. We multiply that by 3, and we get 105 cubic units. So there would be 105 of these cubes that would fit in that box. So whatever the measurement is, it just says units because it's not telling us if it's inches or centimeters or feet. It's just giving us a number. So then it would just be cubic units. Okay. Now it is telling us it's inches. So our answer is going to be in cubic inches. We do the length times the width times the height. So we do 5 times 3 times 3 and we get 45 cubic inches. And we can write it as cubic inches or C-U-I-N or I-N with a little three exponent. See? It's all the same thing. It's 45 cubic inches. All right? We're 45 inches cubed. A cube has the same measure on all sides like a square box. And we can find the volume of a square box by multiplying the same measure three times. Two times two times two. Every side is two centimeters. So it's 2 centimeters cubed. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, so this would be 8 cubic centimeters, or 8 centimeters cubed. That's how we would read it with the little 3 exponent. We would say centimeters cubed. So 2 cubed equals 8. It's 2 times 2 times 2. It's how many times we're multiplying 2 to itself, 3 times. See? On a scientific calculator, all we have to do is enter the number that we're trying to cube, in this case a 2, then, right here on the GED math test calculator that they're going to let you use, that Casio FX260, there's a little button right here that has an X with a little Y exponent. You hit that button, and then you put in the exponent you want. Then you hit equals, and that'll raise any number to any exponent. Remember, we used this one right here. It's kind of hard to see with my... We used this x with the little 2 exponent for square, all right? So if you want to do it to some other exponent, you use the x right here, where the little red line is pointing, with that little y exponent. You put in the number, you hit the x to the y, you put in the number of the exponent, and hit equals, okay? Now, a rectangular box can also be called a rectangular solid or a rectangular prism. So here I've got a cube, and you can see it's a square box. It's the same measure on every single side. See that? Every side is the same length, so it makes a square cube. See? That's a cube. This is a rectangular prism, and if it was completely filled inside, it would be a rectangular solid. See? And this is also a rectangular prism. See how this is shaped? That's a rectangular prism. That's a 3D object. When we can find the area of the outside, we can also find the volume of the inside. Okay? 
So what is the volume in cubic centimeters of a rectangular solid that measures 10 centimeters length, 6 centimeters width, 2 centimeters height? We would do length times width times height, wouldn't we? We would do the 10 times the 6 times the 2. Well, 10 times 6 is 60, times 2 is 120, so it would be 120 centimeters cubed. So if you said number 4, that's the right answer. See? How many cubic feet are in one cubic yard? Well, one yard, one yard, and one yard, that would be a cubic yard, and there's three feet in one yard, so that means there's three feet every single direction. So that means we have 3 times 3 times 3. That would be 27 feet cubed. See? And the formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism is V equals LWH. When all the letters are right next to each other, that means we multiply them. And it means volume is equal to length times width times height. So you should be ready to do the skill focus on page 175 and... We're going to talk more about volume in Lesson 23 and 26 when we get to Unit 4. Our next video is going to be Choose Perimeter, Area, or Volume for a Word Problem, Lesson 17D. And I've got some great videos from the Grade 5 level about volume. And it's from Lesson 11.7 through 11.12. And if you want to meet 3D Bob, he's an 11.9. So I made a real cute video about 3D Bob, okay? And his cousin Dave. So that's volume. We're going to go on and discuss some word problems, which should help you because there's lots of word problems on this test, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.